Hello and welcome to another episode of thefatveganchef.com. Before you forget, please subscribe to our YouTube channel now. Thank you. Today we will be making Chinese orange seton. The recipe can be found at thefatveganchef.com. The tools that you will need to make this dish are a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, a wok, a mixing bowl, a pot, mixing cups and spoons, either a fryer with oil in it or a pan with oil in it, a knife, a strainer, a pan with some uh, paper towels in it, some mixing spoons, and a grater for your ginger, and a peel. For the seaton, what you will need are two cups of vital wheat gluten, one half cup of nutritional yeast flakes, two teaspoons of garlic powder, five cups of vegetable broth that's been divided, one cup and four cups, one half of a red onion that's been diced into chunks, one clove of garlic minced, two teaspoons of Chinese five spice powder, two tablespoons of orange juice concentrate that's been thawed, one teaspoon of Szechuan peppercorns that's been grinded, a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and a tablespoon of soy sauce. For the sauce, what you will need is one half cup of orange juice concentrate that's been thawed, one orange's worth of dried orange peel that's been chopped up or diced, and you can find the orange peel either at your Asian market or at thefatveganchef.com, two tablespoons of vegan sugar, one half cup of soy sauce, one tablespoon of toasted sesame seed oil, one inch knob of fresh ginger that's been peeled and finely grated, two cloves of garlic that's been minced, a few dried chilies, one tablespoon of Szechuan chili pepper, and finally you'll need a tablespoon of chili sauce or to taste depending upon whether you like it hotter or milder. For the breading, what you will need is one half cup of cornstarch, one half cup of flour, and in this case I am using whole wheat. You can use white if you would like. Two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of grains of paradise that's been ground, one half teaspoon of Szechuan peppercorns that's been ground, one half teaspoon of red pepper flakes, one inch knob of fresh ginger that's been minced, and one cup of water. Additionally, what we will need is any combination of Asian vegetables, either fresh or frozen, that equals two cups, and you also need cooked rice or any other starch combined that equals four cups cooked. And today I'm using a combination of equal parts rice, kaniwa, and amaranth. All right, to begin starting the seeding, what we're gonna do is put all of our dry ingredients and dry spices in a mixing bowl. That includes the two cups of vital wheat gluten, half a cup of nutritional yeast flakes, the spices that we're going to use, and we're going to blend this in the mixer, in the mixing bowl, until it's well blended. Alright, that looks good. Now we'll add our one cup of vegetable stock and our soy sauce. Orange juice concentrate. And we'll mix this until it's well blended or well incorporated. Now that it's well incorporated, what we'll do is we'll finish mixing it with our hand and we are going to combine this for a good two or three minutes to build our uh, gluten. We want to make it like a good bread where we formed good gluten strands. 
So that's going to provide us that meaty texture that we're looking for. So as I'm mixing this, I'll see you in about two or three minutes once everything is nice and well kneaded together. I've been kneading this for about two minutes now and it's got some nice gluten formed. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take this out of the bowl and you can either form it into a loaf and cook it in a loaf like that or what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to cut it up into bite-sized chunks and we're going to cook it that way. And as this cooks, this will expand. So keep this in mind. If you are going to do bite-sized chunks, make it a little bit smaller than what you think it should be. We've got these all cut up in little bite-sized chunks and now that we've got them in bite-sized chunks what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cook these. So I'll meet you over at the pot. Alright I have my pot on the stove. I have my cold broth in here and I went ahead and added the onion to it and you want to keep this broth cold and go ahead and add your vital wheat gluten or your uncooked seton at this point it's more than vital wheat gluten into the liquid okay we've got this all in here now now what we're going to do is bring this to a boil with a lid on it and once it's up to a boil what we'll do is we'll let it, we'll bring the temperature down to a medium, medium low so it's still boiling but not boiling rapidly and we'll let it cook for 45 minutes. So I'll see you in 45 minutes. It's been 45 minutes now. Our seating is done. So let's go ahead and take this off the heat. And as you can see, the seating is doubled in size, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this off the heat and we're going to let it cool. So I'll see you after this seating is done cooling down, and then we'll go ahead and make our orange chicken. Alright, we have our seating out of the way, so let's go ahead and make our breading. What we'll do is we'll take the half cup of flour put this in a sifter along with the half cup of cornstarch doesn't want to leave the bowl alright good enough for government work Alright, we'll also need the 1 teaspoon of baking soda, 2 teaspoons of baking, baking powder, and 1 teaspoon of salt. And we'll set these together. Ok, 
okay. We have those sifted. So now we'll go ahead and add our spices. And this is one half teaspoon of Szechuan peppercorns, one half teaspoons of red pepper flakes, and one teaspoon of grains of paradise. And we're going to also add our um, fresh ginger. All right, and we'll give this a mix. All right, now we'll add our one cup of water. And we're gonna gently mix this together until there's no more lumps in the breading. All right, that's good. Now we'll go ahead and set this aside and let this rest. I have given my breading a chance to rest, and I've gone ahead and pulled my seaton out of the refrigerator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start breading the seaton, and then we're going to fry it. And what I'm going to do is go through the seaton, and any pieces that look a little bit too big, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. But in the meantime, I'm just going to put whatever seaton in the breading here. And I'm going to pick through, and I'm going to not include the pieces of onion that are in here. Okay, we have the seaton pretty much cut up and picked through. The rest of them I think are a little bit too small to fry, so I'm going to go ahead and set this aside and move on to the next step. The next step is going to be frying this. First, let's go ahead and give these guys a good coat here. That looks good. So let's go ahead and fry these. Yes, oil's hot. And we're almost done here. I'm taking out my last batch of seaton right now. One thing that I had to do was add a little bit more cornstarch and flour to my batter. It was a little bit too thin. So I think that you can have the water in the recipe and it will be just fine depending upon the humidity and the temperature of where you're currently at you may have to adjust the water and the uh, flour and the cornstarch accordingly. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this together and cook our orange seaton. As you can see, I've got my wok already heated up. It is on high. I'm going to go ahead and start cooking this. First thing you want is one tablespoon oil and try not to have any water in it when you put it in. We're going to add, go ahead and add our garlic and our ginger, our chilies and 
are um, Szechuan peppercorns in our orange peel. Let it cook for just a moment. The spices come out. I'm working this so you don't burn it. Okay. Now we'll add our chili sauce. Cook this down for another half a minute. Okay. And I added one tablespoon of chili sauce and again you can put it however much you want, depending upon how hot you want it. Same with the chili pods. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and add our soy sauce. Or orange juice. And our sugar. this cook a little bit. Let it come up to a boil. Okay. Alright, this is boiling, so I'm going to go ahead and add my seaton, and this is about half of what I cooked. Coat the seaton with the sauce. Alright, that looks good. Let's go ahead and add our vegetables. And we'll let this cook for a little bit. This looks done. Let's go ahead and plate this up. This is what the orange seaton is going to look like when it's done. If you make this recipe, please let me know in the comments. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. And if you found this video helpful, please like it and share it with your friends. It looks good on your Facebook wall, let me tell you. If you find my videos posted somewhere else, please let me know. I do have a form on my website where you can enter that information. This recipe and more can be found at thefatveganchef.com. Thank you very much and enjoy your orange seating.